How are we doing guys? Welcome to DT's Daily. Now on today's show, we're going to be talking about the UK going into full lockdown. We're going to be talking about some transfer news and that's Declan Rice is the target of Chelsea. And Pablo Dybala, um, apparently he is the reason why Lukaku never got a move to Juventus. I represent my fucking self. How are we doing guys? Welcome to DT's Daily. That's right. So, of course, the first place we're going to start is that the UK is in full lockdown. I predicted this would happen and I said it was going to happen sooner rather than later. And the simple reason being is because people have taken the absolute piss over the course of the weekend. It's really, really wound me up. But I feel that the government and the prime minister have had no alternative but to do this because people are simply not listening. Um, on Friday, you see the announcements that pubs and clubs and restaurants, cinemas, etc. were all closing down and you were thinking, right, now those are in place. Everybody's going to start staying at home. They're going to, you know, be respectful. They're going to do exactly what's been asked of them. The people that can go out are the essential key workers. You know, people that have to be out there. You know, people that work for the NHS, people that work for emergency services, people that are working with insecurity to keep our shops open and dickheads from nicking all the toilet roll and everything else. But what happened? What happened over the course of the weekend? Absolute rubbish. Some of the images I've seen from people and their behaviour over the weekend, just carrying on, out and about, no social distancing, nothing. And now, the whole UK is on lockdown and it's because of them. The government were left with no choice whatsoever because of them. So I hope they're happy because all we get to do now is go out for a little bit of exercise once a day. The police have the powers to tell you to go home now. And the only people that are out there are key workers. Cheers. Thanks for that. Um, looking at what actually happened though, um, and we go through the news report now, and it says Boris Johnson has stunned millions of Britons with a momentous and tough lockdown announcement to tackle coronavirus, warning people to stay at home or face a fine. In a dramatic and historic TV address to the nation, the Prime Minister said all shops, apart from food stores and chemists, must close immediately. Meeting friends will be banned and just one form of exercise a day will be allowed. The COVID-19 lockdown, which will be in force for at least three weeks, follows growing pressure in recent days for the government's um, top medical advisor and senior uh, politicians. Um, announcing powers not seen since wartime, Mr. Johnson declared, from this evening, I must give the British people a very simple instruction. You must stay at home because the critical thing we must do is stop the disease spreading between households. People will only be allowed to leave their home for the following very limited purposes. Shopping for basic necessities as infrequently as possible. One form of exercise a day, for example, a run, walk or cycle alone or with members of your household. Any medical need to provide care or to help a vulnerable person. Travelling to and from work, but only where this is absolutely necessary and cannot be done from home. He added, that's all. These are the only reasons you should leave your home. You should not be meeting friends. If you have friends ask you to meet, you should say no. You should not be meeting family members who do not live in your home. You should not be going shopping except for essentials like food and medicine. And you should do this as little as you can and use food delivery services when you can. If you don't follow the rules, the police will have the powers to enforce them, including through fines and dispersing gatherings. Mr. Johnson added that these measures will come into force immediately. Closing all shops, selling non-essential goods, including clothing and electronic stores and other premises, including libraries, playgrounds and outdoor gyms and places of worship. 
stopping all gatherings of more than two people in public, excluding people you live with, stopping all social events, including weddings, baptisms, and other ceremonies, but excluding funerals. Parks will remain open for exercise, but gatherings will be dispersed, he continued. Explaining why he has taken such strong action, Mr. Johnson said, without a huge national effort to halt the growth of this virus, there will come a moment when no health service in the world could possibly cope because there won't be enough ventilators, enough intensive care beds, enough doctors and nurses. And as we have seen elsewhere in other countries that also have fantastic healthcare systems, that is the moment of real danger. To put it simply, if too many people become seriously unwell at one time, the NHS will be unable to handle it, meaning more people are likely to die, not just from coronavirus, but from other illnesses as well. Pretty straightforward. Get it into your thick heads right now. Stay home. It's as simple as that. All you fools that went out there over the weekend and thought it was a jolly up, well done. Now you might listen. You might actually stay home and use what tiny piece of a brain you have, you morons. Do as you're told, stay home. And the sooner you do that, and the sooner we comply, the sooner we can get back out on them streets again, and the sooner we can get our lives back to normal. But the more people take the piss, the longer we're gonna be locked up. It's as simple as that, end of. So let's go and get into some transfer news. And of course, there was one piece of news that I was uh, mention him and that was Declan Rice and Chelsea uh, bit of an interesting one especially with the kind of price tag that um, you've seen you know West Ham put on Declan Rice now Chelsea are interested in signing him from West Ham the Blues are keen to strengthen with a defensive midfielder if the transfer window goes ahead this summer and are admirers of the England international whom they released as a youth Rice21 has been close friends with Chelsea's attacking midfielder Mason Mount since their days together in the academy and the pair have more recently impressed together for the national side. Mount was recently forced to apologise for playing football with Rice at a North London centre whilst he was supposed to be self-isolating after teammate Callum Hudson-Odoi was diagnosed with coronavirus. Former Republic of Ireland youth international Rice has been a consistent figure for West Ham and bagged two assists in 29 Premier League appearances before football was suspended because of the coronavirus pandemic. He would not come cheap with four years left on his West Ham contract and the option of a further year's extension. So, like I said there, it would not come cheap. And some of the figures that were being touted around by West Ham, they're looking at 80, 90 odd million pounds. I'm sorry, but he's not worth 80, 90 million pound. Absolutely no chance. Um, but West Ham, they hold all the cards. A four-year deal with the extra option. Chelsea, they do have money to burn though, um, given the fact that they don't have this transfer ban and they made the sale of um, Hazard and everything else. So they've got money to burn, but will they spend that kind of money on Declan Rice. I'm not too sure. He ain't worth 80, 90 million pound. Absolutely no chance whatsoever. Um, last piece of news is a bit of an interesting one and it's how um, Dybala um, is the reason for Rumele Lukaku um, not moving to Juventus. Um, and we go into the story and it's pretty straightforward once you get into it, but we all saw that Dybala was interested in going to Manchester United, and I believe that's where the swap deal was going to take place. Um, now, Lukaku would have joined Juventus over Inter Milan in the summer if Pablo Dybala's switch to Manchester United had gone through, according to Lukaku's agent. United moved on from Dybala in August due to his wage demands, excessive requests from his agent, and a general sense that the player would be coming to Old Trafford for the wrong reasons. Uh, United had agreed a swap deal in principle with Juventus involving Dybala and Lukaku, according to Sky in Italy. But the deal was hinging on Dybala's preference and his agreement of personal terms with the Premier League side. 
Lukaku instead left for Inter, where the Belgium international 17 league goals have fired his new side to third in Serie A. Nine points behind leaders and the side Lukaku could have been leading the line for Juventus. Lukaku is wearing the Inter Milan shirt and not the Juventus one because Juventus didn't end up finding an agreement between Dybala and Manchester United, um, said Lukaku's agent. So, yeah, it's, um, I think that would have been a pretty straightforward one uh, you would have seen happening, to be quite honest with you. Lukaku was always going to be out of the door at Manchester United. It just depended on where he went. And, um, yeah, if Dybala would have gone to Manchester United, then... Lukaku would have been at Juve but um, apart from the fact that they're not walking away at Juventus and you know he's not winning a title with them you know it's not really going to be that downbeat about it because he's really enjoying his time in Italy and it's as simple as that he's really really enjoying himself and um, banging in goals and um, when the league uh, commences again no doubt he will continue to score goals and um, enjoy his time in Italy, that's for sure. So, um, yeah, there we go. That is it for today's DT's Daily. Um, as usual, let me know in the comments section what you think of today's topics. And um, I will be back later on this evening because I'm going to be doing a reaction video to one of my AFTV ones. And you're going to love this one because it's one of the ones that you will know. That's for sure. Um, I'll be back tomorrow as well for another DT's Daily. If you're new around here, hit the subscribe button, smash a like on this video, and I'll see you a lot soon. I'm out of here.